Welcome to the Nuclear Snail channel. Today I've got a trick for you which I use on almost all of my costumes, which improves its visual quality a lot. So, we use belts a lot, right? So, belts attached to other belts, like here, belts attached to your costume, like here. But what I see a lot of beginners do is just, you know, they will just cut a belt like this and cut another one, cut another one, so it all results in a composition that looks like this, which I think is not great, because what we have here is a bunch of right angles which draw a lot of attention to themselves. So if this is sitting on top of my costume, wherever it may be, then it will just look very aggressive, very blunt, very, you know, like it was just chopped off and that's it. Because that's exactly what happened. Now, before some of you say, but yeah, for the realistic apocalypse, like in reality, we're like, no, uh, we're doing art on this channel, so um, we want things to look visually appealing. And 90 degree angles, which are extremely aggressive, uh, rarely look appealing. Uh, which is not to say I never do this. I sometimes do this, but the thing is, uh, you need to be able to control it. You need to be able uh, to distinguish where you want this kind of an aggressive angle somewhere and when you do not want it. So take a look at it again and check it out. Look how aggressive it is, how much visual attention, visual interest it draws to itself. And now we're just gonna go over the corners and I'm not taking like super duper specific care to make a perfect curve or whatever. In fact, a lot of times I will just uh, not even cut a curve, but instead just cut off the angles a bit, like the, the corners, sorry, uh, at like a 45 degree angle. And uh, my camera is really hating me today. Focus on this camera. No, this. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Uh, so we will do, I will do the same thing with this black belt right here. Right, there we go. And I will do the same thing, but with a curve, on this big belt that lies underneath, trying to uh, make the uh, curve about the same on both sides. So I need to take out a little more here. Again, it doesn't need to be that careful. But uh, now we can see that this whole thing becomes a lot less aggressive, a lot less demanding. You know, there is uh, gonna be a lot of cool, interesting detail, decorations, uh, name tags and stencils and all that, this other cool kind of small detail stuff, which you do not want some aggressive angles of your belts stealing from. Because those just do nothing. And look at this. This is like a lot more pleasant to look at now. It just flows a lot more naturally. Right, because, well, it doesn't have those aggressive angles anymore. Right, so as I've said, um, I do not uh, do this every time. In my works you will find some belts that are 90 degree angle, they, they are left like that on purpose to reinforce that um, this is a realistic blah 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 whatever look just a little bit, right? But I control it, I dose it. Whereas I see in a lot of beginners that they will just, you know, cut off the belts, leave them like this, and it's a pity. You need to be able to do both to really control it in a fine way. Now here is on the other side as a bit of a special case. Those are aggressive angles, but this belt is uh, kind of deteriorated already, which softens it up a bit and makes it actually uh, more interesting, and there no longer is this look of, hey, I've just cut it off with scissors and was done with it anymore. So this is actually, I think this is acceptable, this is kind of interesting, I would do this um, actually in a lot of places instead of that perfect roundness like you want this aggressive realistic quote-unquote look that someone was just in a hurry and done a costume and then ran around with it for a while uh, this is what it uh, looks like more likely uh, rather than you know just this oh it's you know just chopped off with scissors and it's completely brand new it just looks boring that's the point so on this one however I would even go one step further and distress it a bit more to make it be 
even more worn and torn and all that. Look, look, look at this. I just tore off a piece of it. Yeah, now this is starting to look interesting. This is starting to look like someone just didn't care too much and then uh, they have also used the costume for a while without caring too much still. Like, this is nice. But this one up here, uh, like, it just will not get that wear and tear. Um, so I don't like this 90 degree angle stuff right here. So I will just take my scissors to it carefully and there we go. Now this is also a nice, uh, nicely looking composition. So yeah, this is one option. This is uh, very occasionally and a lot of times I'll just round them off a bit and be happy with that. Um, a lot of times I will leave the big ones actually um, at a 90 degree angle and uh, just adjust the smaller ones. Uh, for some reason this tiny detail being all that sharp kind of, uh, kind of disturbs the composition for me more than the big stuff does. But anyway, um, I hope this uh, tip helps you to achieve uh, better detailing in your costumes. And um, yeah, Happy New Year, um, Merry Christmas and all that, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have fun crafting and hail the snail!